born Ernest Frederick McIntyre Bickle. Frederick March had one of the most prolific careers in Hollywood. Mr. March was born in Racine, Wisconsin, and he started his life out as a banker. But due to an emergency appendectomy, he reevaluated his life and decided to go for his dreams. He moved to New York City and he worked in film and on Broadway. But he really hit it big in 1930 when he signed with Paramount Pictures. And just two short years later, 1932, he was nominated at the sixth annual Academy Award ceremony and won Best Actor for the film Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Fun fact, that was the only year that Best Actor was a tie. He tied with actor Wallace Beery. He worked with such luminaries as Gary Cooper, Olivia de Havilland, Greta Garbo, and he starred in the original version of A Star is Born opposite Janet Gaynor. In 1937, he made a triumphant return to Broadway in the Thornton Wilder play The Skin of Our Teeth, starring opposite Tallulah Bankhead. In 1946, Frederick March won his second Best Actor Oscar for The Best Years of Our Life. In 1947, Frederick March won his first Tony Award for Best Actor for playwright Ruth Gordon's play, Years Ago. Mr. March was an early pioneer also in television, doing a lot of the Best of Broadway series. In 1949, his neighbor in Connecticut was Arthur Miller, the playwright, and he wrote the play Death of a Salesman with Frederick March in mind to play Willie Loman. Mr. March took a pass on that play and he regretted it very much, but good news, in 1951, he got to star in the film version, and that garnered him his last Best Actor nomination. In 1954, Frederick March co-hosted the 26th annual Oscar ceremonies. He broadcast in New York City, while his co-host, Donald O'Connor, broadcast in Los Angeles. In 1957, Mr. March won his second Best Actor Tony for playing the part of James Tyrone in Eugene O'Neill's classic play, A Long Day's Journey Into Night. This makes Frederick March the only actor to have won two Oscars and two Tonys. Hats off to you, Mr. March. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.